Hello, this is my high school ceramics case study for the student Liam D, whose name has been changed. Here's the student profile. Um, Liam D is a high school senior. He at the American International School of Muscat. He has um, no formal diagnosis, level of service, or other services because I have chosen a high achieving student uh, that I think could be um, more engaged and um, even more high achieving. I have a small class of nine students, uh, all who are getting A's and B's right now and doing quite well. I didn't have anyone um, that was at the low achieving end uh, or with any sort of formal diagnosis or outside services, so I thought I'd go with this other direction here. And this photo is not actually of my student, it's a stock photo just so you can kind of have a visual there. So for the behavior profile, Liam is very intelligent, he's organized and prepared for each class. Uh, in his blog and essay writing he has uh, great language skills that he uh, is continuing to improve on and I'm giving him feedback on where he can uh, be more creative or kind of work on refining his language. Uh, he's a responsible student. He's always respectful in class uh, towards his peers and to me. His weaknesses are that he doesn't always seem completely engaged in class. He does whatever's asked of him, um, but sometimes seems a little bit like he's, uh, you know, daydreaming or not completely there. He doesn't seem super self-motivated. He's kind of at the, um, you know, he does exactly what I ask, not really much beyond that. Uh, same with his creativity and collaboration. If I specifically put him in a group, he works well with his peers, but he doesn't seek out collaboration like some of the other students in class will do. As far as class accommodations go, uh, I show exemplars of creative high quality work with each unit. The most recent assignment is a slab-based project that has a lot of student choice as far as the subject matter, so I give them some constraints on um, time and material and methods and then they get to choose whatever they're interested in as far as form goes. This is a quote from the student's blog post that kind of shows an example of his writing and also shows uh, some of these behaviors kind of demonstrates. So he says he used fierce determination to strengthen his skills as a potter while increasing the amount of respect he has for other potters and their work. So this was a line that he picked out that he was proud of, of his own blog post, and I thought demonstrated some of what we're looking at here. Interventions for this student. Um, I differentiate my instruction in class. Again, with only nine students, it's really easy to give them individualized instruction and feedback. Self-monitoring and self-directed learning are a big part of this class. Uh, every unit we do um, formative assessments where they uh, test, you know, they test their own centering, they figure out where they're at on the rubric for each project, uh, and then we have a discussion and written and oral feedback with that, um, kind of as it's in process and at the end. Uh, and then self-directed learning, they're choosing their own uh, forms and researching how to make those and, you know, finding different inspirations and creative ideas. Setting high standards for all students, they are all expected to be uh, working toward mastery on the rubric, um, not just you know settling for basic or proficient. And we talk about frequently about how to uh, you know what the next steps are to move themselves over on that scale of mastery. And then formative feedback all through each unit to let them know what those next steps would be and to ask them where they feel they're uh, being challenged. So these kind of these interventions happen with all nine of my students, including Liam. Um, and this is where I'm at with getting him to achieve at a higher level. I've met his parents a few times now, first at the open house meeting. Uh, then they sent an email where they just wanted to check in with all of his teachers. And I emailed back to let them know how he was doing in ceramics which is uh, very well. He's doing uh, everything that's being asked. He's got a B plus right now. I feel like he could uh, push himself a little bit more and I talked to his parents about that. 
but that I don't have any concerns about him. And then during parent-teacher conferences two weeks ago, his mom came in to talk to me again. Um, she said that he seems very reserved and quiet right now and asked if I knew of anything going on. Um, and I said, no, that he's, you know, he's pretty quiet in my class too, but that he's you know, always doing his work and I haven't heard anything else. Um, I was talking with one of the other teachers at the school and learned that this student uh, was born here in Oman. His parents are expats, but he was born here. And then a couple years ago, they made a big move to England, and that was really hard on him, and he didn't want to go. And then they ended up coming back here, and that his um, uh, that kind of disrupt that was disruptive for him, and that he has uh, he's settled back in, but now he's much less communicative with the adults in his life. So for a plan of action and follow-up, um, just continuing to push him to challenge himself um, and hold those high expectations. I think that I could give him more opportunities to collaborate and be a leader in the classroom, um, especially with writing. He's, uh, he's an AP English and he's a very good writer and he could be um, helpful for other students in the class who are still developing those skills.